Welcome and thank you for your support. From humble beginnings in 1982, Greening Australia has grown into one of Australia's leading environmental organisations with over 200 staff operating in each state and territory. This year, there's been too many highlights to mention, from our MOU with Landcare Australia Limited, our delivery of 21 revegetation workshops for over a thousand people on behalf of the Australian Government, the 10 years of the Brella Candlelight Project, and of course, our success with the Biodiversity Fund, where we led or partnered in 25 projects worth over $41.5 million in the next six years. We were again award winners this year. In New South Wales, we won a Premier's Award for Sustainability with Transgrid and our prize partnership, Green Grid. In South Australia, a Visi Arts Environment Award with Wyoming Adelaide. In Tasmania, a NAB School's First Award for our partnership with Trans End and Lena Valley Primary School. And of course, in Victoria, for the Grassy Ground Cover Research Project, a 2011 Rio Tinto Earthwatch Citizen Science Award. 2012 marks the 30th anniversary of Greening Australia and one organisation has been alongside us since day one. Our 30-year partnership with Alcoa of Australia is a major investment in regional communities, environment and people. We thank Alcoa for their support and look forward to a bright future working with them. Our 30th year has been a milestone year for change, reform and renewal. It has been a real privilege to work alongside the inspirational Duncan Kerr and the energetic and tireless Rod Douglas in their capacity as National President. Both men led from the front during significant governance reform as our directors voted for constitutional change. Greening Australia people have a formidable array of technical expertise, talent and passion. I am inspired by what our people do in far-flung places like Albany, the Eyre Peninsula, the Tassie Midlands and Catherine. Sadly though, at each AGM we have goodbyes to say to some great Greening Australia people. This year, with our constitutional changes, there are too many names to mention. But it is a mark of those people that when they participate in the constitutional reform process, many knew that they would be voting themselves out of a seat at the boardroom table. To those people, I say thank you and I say goodbye. On the heels of sadness often comes hope. And in many parts of the organisation where we've experienced hardship over the past few years, we know that this year will be a turning point. With 30 years experience and knowledge, we have great respect for the diversity of the challenges and the opportunities that lie ahead. I know that we are made of the right stuff, and we are excited about those opportunities which are ahead of us, including our goal to develop a Northern Australia strategy with people now based in Broome, Darwin and Townsville. Likewise, the opportunities which exist under the Biodiversity Fund, Caring for Our Country and the Carbon Farming Initiative. They will enable us to continue our vision of achieving landscape restoration at scale, but also participate in exciting new opportunities such as supporting social and Indigenous enterprise and training projects in places like remote Western Australia, South Australia and New South Wales. While many things have changed in the past 12 months, there are many things that have not changed in the past 30 years. Firstly, to our employees and to our directors, thank you for being great people of Greening Australia. To our supporters, members and volunteers, thank you for being great people of Greening Australia. To our partners, landholders, the departments and agencies and organisations that support us, thank you. As I say thank you, I also invite you to join us in the next 30 years of Greening Australia.